realize that now people are like, you're an inspiration to them? Uh, they call me the uh, neighborhood hero. I mess with that though. Like that's something new. I like Super JJ, but Super JJ my name though, but like, I mess with that though, because they like, the people in my community really know me, what I was really doing every day. Like the stage when I didn't go to school, they knew what I was doing. When I was young, it was a, like, it, it was a, it was violent, but it wasn't like it is like it is now. It was more of like, like kids my age, so we having fun. It really, how I go see, playing basketball at the park. We really had much to worry about. We doing everything a kid wanted to do. And like, it, I say it got me a lot of like toughness too, and like confidence too, and like used to the people that's around because it's different race, like. I just say it like that, but it's different race in my neighborhood too. Even though I went to school with one miss and it was all black, but like I play AAU with a lot of like different people too from the like community. Like, I say I learned a lot from Orange Mine. That's why everybody probably really mess with me now because they really know where I come from too. So like they probably like, damn, like we seen his struggle and like anybody can do it though if you just keep your, like keep your heart into it and your focus into it and push yourself. I got five sisters and now I got one on my daddy's side and I got four on my mama's side. I always got different daddies too. I'm the only boy and I'm the youngest too. Everybody just like keep being yourself and stuff. I'm, like, I'm gonna do that regardless. Where did that sense of humor kind of develop? Was it just all your sisters just, or whatever? Was it from other people around you? It was, I'd say it was because of other, it was my sisters and them friends because you know they older than me too. So like I was in elementary hanging around high school kid. So I didn't even matter. So I used to come over there to take, I'd talk about your mama. Anything, you know what I'm saying? I was willing to play, and like they didn't mind, so like I just ran with it. And like I liked it that person. I'm like I'm not gonna change for nothing. Like it's just me. When I first got introduced to basketball, I said it was this gay girl named Tootie. She was a stud. She was like my sister age. When she was like 14, I was nine, and we used to go to the Mam Center, like the Grizzly Center. We used to go up there. And like I liked how she hoops, so I like that. I want to hoop too, cause I used to play only football at first. She's the reason I want to hoop. Her and a dude named JT Conrad. Was there a mentor at all that stepped in around that time for you that kind of saw the talent you had on the basketball court but also cared about you the person? My middle school coach, Sherman Jones, and I say like, there's a lot of people, Coach House. Like Jermaine Jones tried to help me too though, but like, there's a lot of people, Coach Partee and them. Everybody tried to come in and help me though, but it was still my own mind because my mama let me do anything. Like she, I never had no rules or nothing, no curfew or nothing. My mama let me make, make my own decision. My mama met, um, worked for the school. She worked for the Mission City School, so I could have went to any school I wanted to. But I wanted to go to the, the neighborhood school. Like my dad went there and my uncle went there too. So I was like, I want to keep my legacy here. Even though we got the same lane, I want to make my own legacy there. So I went to Mero. Do you remember the moment you tore your ACL in high school? We were playing against East High School at Melrose High. Very, very, you know, that's a rivalry game. So that's Orange Mountain against Bean Hamilton. That's a hood rivalry. So that rivalry been going on for years before I ever came around. Like, I remember the player now. I was going up for a rebound. You know, I wasn't a dunker like that. I'm not a dunker now, but I can dunk. So like, I went up for a rebound. I was being Nick King. And like, I got it. As I'm coming down, my knee just buckled. It went back. Like, I thought everybody thought I hit my head. My team member trying to tell me it's a cramp. I'm like, bro, this is not no cramp. I'm crying. I'm like, bro, this is not. No. He's trying to scratch it. I'm like, I'm cuz. I'm like, eh, nah. I'm like, no. Like, this ain't no cramp. And my daddy, my daddy came out the bed. I grabbed his face. I said, he just don't know how happy I am to see you. <laughs> he like, I thought I seen G's. I was just happy to see him. I'm like, please. I'm like, just get me off the floor. And my sister was there too. I'm like, I just need to get off the floor. I'm like, I, I know my leg. I knew my leg was messed up. I'm like. I knew it wasn't over with, but I knew it was over with at that time, though. That's what made me come back even harder, though. Now, I, I had surgery. I just didn't do rehab. I did rehab on my own. I went to rehab one time, and, like, they put the machine on there. You know the little machine that make your, like, knee jump? And, like, I guess he cut it up too high. And, like, caught me off guard. I was like, when I was 18 at that time, I started crying. So I'm like, after I left, I said, I'm not going back there. I ain't tell my mom and them that, though, because they with me, but I'm not, I'm not going back there. I just started riding the bike and running every day on my own. Like, just doing a little, like, just doing my, like, elevation and stuff. I got hurt February the 4th, 2014. I came back, I was back in, like, the middle of March. So April, I was doing and running around my birthday time. Yeah, that's what I said, I was like, that's God. Like, you know he real for sure, I promise. I had a knee brace on just in case somebody do hit it, it won't hurt like that. But I'm hopping on one leg. I was fast, I was getting good, I'm telling you. I was killing on that one leg. <laughs> I didn't even care about the NBA. I wanted to be a park legend, really, though. Like, how New York got their park legend, that's what I wanted to be. 
I really wanted to just be myself. I liked it a lot of hooping. Like I say KD name or something, like but I really just wanted like, if they come to my neck, like the Bluff City Classes, like a lot of NBA players hooping there when they come, they would like, if they came, I wanted to expose them. I wanted to be the one that exposed them and stuff. But like, it happened the opposite way, I guess. So when you go to Hill College, it's almost, did you feel like you fell off the radar of everybody? Everybody just kind of forgot about you? I ain't know where I was, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm like, what is this? And like, you know, <laughs> you know, and like where I'm from, we call it a community college. I never knew it was a JC, a junior college though. I'm like, what is this? It was something new, cause like, it was in the middle of nowhere, it's a community of 8,000. I'm like, bro, like, what did I get myself into? I'm crying there now, I'm like, mom ready to go home. And like, she like, you just gotta stick through. I'm like, okay, I'm just ready to go home. And with basketball season game, I was good then, cause like, he really was just letting us hoop, like street ball. Like I was like the coach of the team, really though. He let me run everything. And I, his name Trinkle, Sweet Trinkle. I still talk to him to this day. I read that you had 72 rebounds in five games in the, in the JUCO tournament. Yeah, I be snotty. I be. I ain't know that till like two years ago though. I'm tell I was just hooping. I'm tell I'm just hooping. I love basketball, so I really didn't care about it. Like he beat it in five. I did it with like three or four. I beat Sean Marion record, I think. See, I had like Western Kentucky, I had Ole Miss, LSU. Had you ever been to New Mexico before then? Not never. I like, when I pulled up there, I'm like mounts. I never seen mounts till I went that way. Uh, the border right there and all. I'm like, what do you feel like? I was like, we about El Chapo for sure. I swear to God, I'm like that. <laughs> hey, look, yeah, I get I get the sweat, you know, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I saw all these names that that you passed up on rebounding. How does how does that happen? Uh, it's dogging me. I probably wanted more than them, I guess. I, I do want it more than them. I ain't gonna lie to you. And like, that's my way out, I feel like. like, you know, I can score if I want to. Like, it's just the little thing. I'd rather do the little things. Nobody don't want to do no more. So I'd rather play like an old head than the new generation right now. That's why I, I, I play like an old head. <laughs>